back with another episode and today I want to talk to you about how to release things. I had someone in my online community ask me recently how to actually release something when you're trying to move on when you're trying to let go of something how do you actually do that how do you actually release and not continue with an attachment to something and there are shamanic ways to do that if you're having difficulty releasing and letting go of attachment you can have um, a shamanic clearing done but that is not necessary for releasing energy or releasing an attachment to something. You can do that. And I'm more than happy to work with you on that. But today I want to talk to you about five easy ways that you can release your attachment to something on your own. And if these don't work, then let me know and maybe we can explore um, some shamanic healing or some shamanic energy work for you in your journey to release but again today I just want to talk about five easy things that you can do on an ongoing basis to help you release whatever it is you're trying to release my number one tip for releasing anything is a very quick and easy spell that you can do write it down and burn it I love to work with fire when I'm trying to release anything I like to work with fire anytime actually but especially when I'm trying to release something I will write down whatever it is I'm trying to release and simply burn it um, always in a fire safe fireproof dish obviously safety is a number one concern when working with fire but it doesn't have to be anything special you don't have to have special paper or a bay leaf or anything in particular to write on. You can to make it more magical, whatever works for you. But you can write on any piece of paper with anything you want to write with. Fold it up, put it in whatever fireproof dish that you're working with and burn it. I like to also speak as I'm burning it. So as I'm writing it down, I will say what I'm writing. And then as I put the paper in the dish to burn and set it on fire, I will also say it then and say, I release you. So that is the first thing, write it down and burn it. My second tip for releasing is to clear the energy around you. This can be in whatever form that you want to release um, or cleanse the energy in your space a lot of times when we're trying to release something we find it difficult because we don't cleanse the energy in our space around us you can do this with sacred smoke whatever smoke um, plant smoke is available to you that is endemic to your ancestors or your work do that it doesn't have to be anything like sage or palo santo those can sometimes have issues with um, cultural appropriation or um, just taking for granted and not being sacred in our use of these plants. So find plant out are in your area that you have access to easily and readily and burn that. Um, sacred smoke is used throughout all cultures in the world but not every culture uses the same plant medicine to make sacred smoke. So just be mindful of that. Um, sacred smoke is great for releasing energy, cleansing energy. If you are Reiki attuned, I would suggest that you um, Reiki the area that you're releasing energy from, your home, uh, whether it be an entire home, your office, a room, whatever, or sound healing singing bowls, crystal bowls, your voice, whatever you want to use for sound healing, vibration and sound really have a way of clearing out of a space. And it's really easy to do, especially if you're using your voice as the tool for the sound. But it's important to 
cleanse the energy around you and get that stagnant energy moving because when we're releasing something that energy or that is energy everything is energy so when you're releasing something you're wanting to release energy and you can say it you can burn it you can breathe all you want but if that energy is still there stagnant and not moving in the room then it's going to linger and continue to affect you so you really need to work on cleansing and clearing the energy in your space my third tip is to take deep cleansing breaths when you think about whatever it is that you're trying to release if you find that you're holding on to it anytime that you sense that you're having trouble letting go stop what you're doing and take four to five deep cleansing and clearing breaths this will get your nervous system calm it will help you to calm down and it'll help you to focus on your breath instead of focusing on what it is that you're trying to release and in that same vein is tip number four, get moving to distract yourself. Once you take some deep breaths, if you can go outside, go for a walk, do some stretches, jumping jacks, whatever, to get your energy and your body moving physically and to help clear your mind so that you're not thinking of the thing you're trying to release. It's hard to be focused on something negative or something that you want to let go of if you're engaged in physical activity or if you're outside, um, especially engaged in physical activity, if you're enjoying nature and the day around you, then you're less likely to be focused on what it is you're trying to release. And my fifth tip is the most in-depth for this little tutorial, but to stop and do a body scan. If you're trying the other four tips consistently and you just can't seem to let go of whatever it is you're trying to let go of, sit down and do a body scan. Do your deep breathing, get into a relaxed state and ask yourself, where am I holding the energy? Where am I holding this that I'm trying to let go of? Is it in your shoulders, your neck, your jaw? It could be your belly. It could be anywhere in your body. But if you take the time to sit down and reflect and really get to know and listen to your body and where you're holding that energy, then you can go back to the tip number four and get moving and stretch those areas in particular even more where you are holding the energy. Maybe get a massage, maybe get some Reiki, whatever. But when you know where it is you're holding the energy you can focus on that area to try to let go and detach from whatever it is you're trying to release so there you have my five tips i would say five number one <laughs> tips but that's funny but my five main tips for releasing anything it is that you want to release and then if you keep trying those and you're having trouble or you've been doing these and other tips, because these are just five tips. There are plenty of other methods and ways of releasing and letting go of something. But if you're struggling and you can't seem to let go of it and you want to explore shamanic work for releasing anything, just reach out to me and I will be more than happy to talk to you and see what we can work out for you. Until next time, have a great week.